Hi friends. Okay. I'm coming back to do another video because I had several questions or several things that people wanted to know about, uh, from my last video. And I, I had sort of asked people what they wanted to learn. So in this day and age of stay home and stay safe, I am offering up a few of my favorites. Uh, you can see my face is half done. I'm very big into before and afters. And so I wanted to do one that you can see me recreate this look on this side. I saw that done um, with one of our regional artists and it was super cool. I felt like I learned a lot. So I thought maybe you could too. I'm gonna try to keep it as brief as possible. I will put all of the actual items that I use. So if I don't talk about it in the video in enough detail for you, I'll put them in the comment section. And I'll also create a little picture of each of the things so that you know if you want to get anything, you can have a more specific guide. And right now at Macy's, at my counter and all the Macy's, uh, you have 15% off until the 9th. So it does help with the um, budget a little bit. And I want to do this one to go over quickly um, some of the things that I did before. They're in the other video that's on Facebook. And if you need that one again, I can repost it. I do want to concentrate mostly on the eyes and the brows part of it so that since this is pretty much what we see now. Oh, and look at my nails. They're um, Christmas lights. I know. So um, then that is the focus of this video for the most part. But I do want to talk about some of my favorite items and we'll go from there. Okay. So the first thing is um, obviously after a moisturizer, primer is essential. Primer, what is that you might ask? Primer is sort of the barrier between your skin and your foundation. This is one of my favorites. It's called um, the Natural Radiance and it's got the yellow undertone. You don't really see the color. It's basically to neutralize any uh, redness in the skin. It's great for um, all skin tones, but medium to darker skin tones especially. There is also one with a pinker undertone if you're a fair person as well. So what it's gonna do, it's got um, moisturizing properties. It has silicone base to it that's obviously safe for the skin, but it's gonna fill in any texture, pores. It's gonna give you that perfectly smooth uh, surface for which to put your foundation. So basically one pump will do your whole face. And so I'm just gonna do, I probably won't even use all of it because since I'm only doing half a face, which is really weird actually. Um, so half a face and my face, <laughs> when I start to, um, to move it around, gets a little pink. So that's just my thing. And you can see clearly I can neutralize all of that with what I'm gonna show you here. So after that, I usually do the moisture in my eye area. And I've talked about one of my favorite products in the world. I am not kidding when I tell you I've used this for like 20 years. So it's called our Fast Response Eye Cream. It is something you can use morning and night. I put it all the way around my whole eye. Caffeine powder, which is a vasoconstrictor, it's gonna um, take down puffy and um, sort of tighten the skin. It's also got a silicone in it that's safe for the eye area that's gonna smooth out that skin and prep it for makeup. So then when you go in with your concealer, and I love this one, I've talked about this one before in my other video, so this is our Pro Longwear Concealer. It comes in a little pump. The Pro Longwear family of products in MAC are long wear. So these are amazing for if you are, um, if you have an oilier lid, if you are somebody who uh, has discoloration all the way around the whole eye, which I do, I really like to use it under and around. So this is like half a pump. There's the rest of my, my primer, which I don't need all of it. And so that's like, if you can see that, that's probably going to do like me and another friend. So since I'm only doing one eye, that might be a little bit extra. Uh, but so it's easy to, um, to blend it down. So what I do is I put it on the entire, I like to get into this little corner. You can use your fingers, you can use a brush. I'm just using my fingers to kind of pat it in there. And you can see immediately now I have taken the discoloration around my eye area out and I look more awake and alive. So yay, <laughs> fake it till you make it friends. I do this before I do my brows so that I'm not wiping away um, my brow color at all. That's just me. I want you to know there are no shoulds, 
have tos, nevers in makeup. I always tell that, especially to my women of a certain age, because many times we're told, oh, once you get past 40, you can't do X, Y, and Z. You can't have shimmer. You can't do glitter. You can't be fun anymore. You need, need to be serious. So I'm going to tell you that if you love it and it, you think it looks good and it's fun, you feel good, that's what counts. So that is empowering you to be bold and try things. So now I have got it all kind of blended in. And like I said, a little goes a long way in that product. My foundation, I just use the powder foundation. So this is Studio Fix. Um, this is one of those foundations that you can adjust the coverage. If you are um, super dry, you just wanna make sure if you like the powder foundation that you are moisturizing and priming before. I just use our little fan brush. Um, this is our fancy one from last holiday, but we do have these as well to purchase. I will also tell you all the brushes and more specifics in the comments. I just, this does come with a little pad that lives underneath there. And it's nice to have that little extra space because then any of the oils from your skin don't get on the powder and create that slick spot. So if you've ever seen that, that is what's happening. It's oil from your skin getting onto the powder and creating oxidization or it's just changing the property of the powder. That is why there's this little, got little air holes, keep the pad under there. The pad is gonna give you a full coverage, a matte finish. So to adjust the coverage, it depends on how you put it on. I like to put it on with this brush because it's a little firmer, but it's not super firm, so that I get a little bit more coverage with the powder. And for me, it works really well alone. A lot of people will use it over the top of foundation. Our Studio Fix Fluid is our best seller, and that is more of a medium to full matte coverage. So I would say a majority of people go for that one, and some people will pair it along with the powder foundation. So for me, I like it by itself. Uh, again, no shoulds, have tos. This is just me and some of my favorites. So going on to what I do next is I usually do my brows. So I'm, I'm doing the frame of my face so I can see where I wanna put my eyes, uh, my eye makeup specifically. This is my jam. This is the uh, technically called the um, Big Boost Fiber Gel Eyebrows. So <laughs> I just call it the brow gel. And the brow gels do have color to them. This one is called Spiked. We do have pencils that match the colors of the brow gel. This is waterproof, it has a fiber in it. So uh, for many people, this is all you need. If you do have hair in your brows. So it will stick on there, it, it'll give it a little bit more fluffy. You can see me turning it on the side where I don't have as much of a tail there and I'm putting it right on my skin. So the that's what I do initially to fill it in. So for some people that could be all you need. I like to add a little bit of our pencil. So this is our eyebrow styler and it has a little spoolie on one end and the roll up pencil on the other. It's more like a, a little bit of a waxy substance. So it does stick. I just kind of add a little bit of definition to my peak and a little bit more to the front. So I like to um, give myself that sort of more defined brow. Again, totally subjective. Some people might just like this by itself, especially if you have more bald spots or if you don't have as much hair. And this comes in a wide range of colors as well. The next thing I do is I'm gonna use another Pro Longwear product. This is our Paint Pots. And this is a cream to powder shadow. It can be used by itself. It can be used in conjunction with um, powder shadow to hold it on longer. Anything you put on top of this product will stay put. So this is what it looks like. It's creamy, it does dry down. So I usually use um, a brush with this guy and I will use um, the 252. This is a flat one. Again, this is an old um, one from Holiday. So I do have the regular size ones in stock as well. These are great for anything creamy or powdery. They are synthetic. All of our brushes are synthetic, by the way, and it's flat, so it lays down things that are creamy really nicely. So I just kind of put a little bit on, and I'm gonna put it all the way up under my brows, and it almost kind of creates that little pattern underneath the brows to sharpen up the edges. Some people will con put concealer under there. 
I'm just putting the paint pot because I'm gonna use that to hold on all of that that's going on over there. So that's really it. You can you could just do this and be done. There are different paint pots. Uh, there's a couple that have a little bit of shimmer to them. I wouldn't say frosty, just light reflective. And this one is a matte. It's called Painterly and it's probably our best seller. So while that is still moist and not set yet, I'm gonna take my powder shadow and create my look. So it may look like I have a lot going on. I really have like three colors, um, but you don't have to do everything that I did. What's really cool about this guy is it has nine colors. It's super small. There are five, four different ones, five different ones. This one is Dusky Rose. And so it's got a combination of matte and shimmer and frost or matte and satin and frost. This is kind of all you need, especially if you, um, when we travel again, <laughs> uh, this is a great thing to just throw in your bag because you have so many different colors. The dark colors like this one can be used as eyeliner. So any of our shadows can be used wet or dry. You just get your brush, um, you spray it with a little bit of our Fix Plus setting spray, which I'll show you at the very end of all this. And that will uh, hold on that eyeshadow as it almost looks like a liquid liner on the bottom. So that's another way to use this. But you've got, you've got highlighters, you've got contours, you've got depth of color. So the first one I'm gonna go in with is this guy right here, okay? And I'm gonna take my fluffy brush, this one right here, and I'm just gonna go in and put that on the entire eye. So now I've kind of started to set that paint pot underneath it. Same brush, so this is um, the 224 blending brush. Love this one. So it, the fluffier the brush, the less powder it will pull up. The, the tighter the brush or flatter the brush, the more color it will pull up. You could pretty much use this for almost everything if you wanted to. I often will pair something flatter um, I can't, mine is worn off, so I will let you know what this is in the comments. Anyway, you're gonna go into something like either one of these two. So these are a beautiful color to kind of add right inside the crease color, a crease area. And so I'm just, I think I started with this one. So I just kind of press it and place it. And that's what I, that's what it looks like before it's blended. So that way you can place it exactly where you want it and you're not getting too much too soon. Then I'll take my blending brush and I kind of move it toward the center. If you blend out this way, you might get a little wing. If that's um, what happens, Q-tips are your best friend. They are little erasers. So that's what I'm doing with this one. I, I placed it and then I'm blending. Now, if I want a little bit more, let's say I wanna go in with a little bit more, I'm just gonna press it and blend it in. Now what I do with eyeshadow is I like to take it and put it underneath the eye because that gives you definition without it being an eyeliner. It's not, it's not a uh, emollient product, so it's not gonna run or rub down as the day goes on or as you blink. So here's our little pencil brush. It's, got, it's harder, it's got a little fine tip at the end. It's great to go in. I kind of do a combination of of these two of the darker ones so that I can get that definition, really soft definition underneath. And then I just kind of do that. So that's really all that is. It just gives you um, eyeliner without being eyeliner. So then if I'm gonna match this, I'm gonna add a little bit more depth with that darkest color, this guy. So don't be afraid, you're gonna use a fluffier brush and that is when I'm just gonna take that without pressing and placing. I just want a little bit more and I'm going to put that right inside that crease. So there again, right here, if I get outside the lines, my little Q-tip is my little blender, my little eraser, I should say. So now I'm getting that definition in there. Always trying to keep the brow bone light and I personally try to keep this area light for this look because then I'm not closing off my eyes, making them look like they're further together than they are. A smoky eye is really about placement of the a depth of color. So you can really smoke this look out. Let's say you are 
when we are able to go anywhere again, <laughs> you can add more of that dark color right in here to get more of a nighttime look. Then that is taking the look you have for the day and transferring it by adding one color out of all of these into that spot. So now um, one thing that's really easy to do is just taking a tissue and kind of wiping out what you have in there. You haven't grabbed a lot of the color, so it's easy to do that. What I will do then is I will take this guy, which is a little bit shimmery, and I'm gonna kind of place that in the brow and kind of right in here. Yet again, I am, you can see, I've got the brighter color that's right in here inside and not not out here so we're just keeping that color in there so that is really all this look is if you wanted to add there's a little one here that's got some shimmer to it you could also take just for funsies if you wanted to add a little something something on the other side of this brush that i used to place that first color i really don't have any color there so what i could do is just go in with that frostier color to do tap it out because those guys have a little bit of um, fallout and just press it right inside and give myself a little brightness right in the inner corner so that's kind of a way to um, give it a little pizzazz it's not a ton this look is definitely um, something you can really blend down or you can pull up the placement is very simple as a general rule, but you've got so many options here. So you've got your darker color for liner or for underneath or for depth of color. These ones can interchange in the crease or you can actually put them in the entire lid coming down under. Your brow colors here, here, and these are really pretty just accessory colors. Uh, like I said, it's got a combination of matte, shimmer, and frost. So then I'm going to take my eyeliner is actually a gel liner and I don't know if a lot of people have played around with these. I love them because they stay put. So again, it's our Pro Longwear line, Longwear. It comes in a little jar. This is called Black Tracks. It is just literally in a little jar. It's creamy. Uh, it works really well with an angled brush. So here's the brush that I'm using. This brush works so well for everything, for eyeliner, under and over. It works great if you decide you wanna use powder in your brows, which is another way of doing filling in a brow. You can certainly do that. What I'm doing is I'm just putting a little bit in on my brush and then I usually kind of wipe out a lot of it so that it is smooth on the brush. And I am going to just press it right into the eye line. I'm not sweeping, I'm just pressing because I want to make sure that I am getting it exactly where I want it and that it is not getting too far out of the line. Now, if you leave it like that, let's see, I got a little bit on my face. There we go. If you leave it like that, it can look very much like liquid liner. If you, you know, if you want that more sort of sharp edge, um, you could leave it just like that. What I tend to do is go back in with that little pencil brush that I had before that I used uh, for underneath, and now I'm gonna look for it. And you can just blend it down and add a little bit of softness to the look. So a lot of times I will do that. I just kind of go back over it with the pencil and add a little bit of softness to it. So that is another way to use that product. No kidding, when it sets, it sets, it does not move. I wouldn't call it waterproof, water resistant. Uh, if you are, go I've never had it run on me, let's put it that way. I haven't like gone into a sauna with it, but it does stay. The next thing I will do is, um, here's another one of my very, very, very favorite products, love, love, love. So I um, used to have really major lashes and now not as much, but, I can't wear the, I can't use the lash serum. It affects me negatively. And I'm not about to do the lash extensions. Just, I'm not that girl. But this feels like it creates all of those, it solves all of those problems. So this is the False Lashes Maximizer. It is a, a lash conditioner and extender. So what it's doing is it's building your lash 
in a clear product. So it actually looks like this clear and you are going to use that underneath your mascara. What it ends up doing for me, because I do use waterproof mascara, is it lengthens them and thickens them where I don't need as much mascara. So this is um, one of my little obsessions. So I just put it on and you can see it building your lashes, like I said, in a clear way and it will, um, it dries pretty quickly. You don't need to wait for it to dry necessarily before you put on your mascara. Typically what I'll do when I'm doing not just half a face is I will go in and I will do this on this eye and then I'll do mascara and then mascara. So you can see how much it's built up my lashes, which aren't as thick and long and lovely as I love them to be. So our really great um, mascara that is going to lengthen and thicken in a very quick way is called our In Extreme Dimension. I have the little mini here. This is fun because it is, um, it's a 12, don't quote me on this, $14 versus 24. So if you are looking for like a little travel size, we do have that. So that's what this is. The wand is exactly the same, or I should say the brush is the same size or the same length. It's really flexible. So it doesn't get in there and pull on your lashes. It builds the lash very quickly, especially because I'm putting probably about half as much mascara as I might normally. And it feels like to me, especially because I do wear waterproof mascara, um, a lot of the times I'm not working as hard to get it off at the end, which by the way, our wipes are amazing. I have looked everywhere for a wipe that is equally as good or better than Max, and I cannot find one, especially for someone who is sensitive skin like me. And it takes off all waterproof mask makeup um, it is in a package of 100. So one wipe will do your whole face because you can use the front and the back of them. Highly recommend, love them. So there's the eye look. It's very uh, pretty put together. It really doesn't take much time. Makeup is always something that I say, it just takes a little practice. So that's all and it's about the tools. We do have a brush set right now that is lovely. It has five brushes for uh, $49.50 da, 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 and it also is 15% off too. I will take a picture of that and add that into the comments as well. So then really the next thing for me is bronzer because bronzer is life. <laughs> and I am gonna use um, just a small little angled brush that is actually in the brush set that we have right now. This is called Cheeky Bronze. It's our mineralized um, product, meaning it's a mineral-based product. It's uh, sheer and easy to blend, and it does have, it is baked. So when you see it, you can kind of see it has almost like a little dome shape. So this one, had, it's a bronzer, but it's got kind of a pinky or undertone, which I really like. So I just kind of, you know, there is really not any deep way to apply bronzer. I put it along the hairline, partially because that's what you see under with my mask, that's about all you see. Uh, I do really like it just in the cheek area. I put a little bit on my chin. Sometimes I'll put it down my nose. The fluffier the brush, again, the less product you're gonna pull up. That in addition to a little bit of the mineralized blush, and this one is called Gentle. This is the color. I apologize, mine has a little crack in it, but it's much loved. It is, again, a sheer, more blendable product. It's not matte, it's not glittery. So it's got a little bit of a light reflection and I just take a little and I just put a little bit right on the apple of my cheek. So that's all I do with that. Uh, now I wanna add a little bit more on that side. So the last thing I'm gonna show you, second to last thing, is one of my very favorite products. So I get asked a lot about highlighting and contouring and for the most part, highlighting and contouring should be um, like the real, like major stuff should be left to Kim Kardashian and drag queens. That's my opinion. <laughs> so if you want to do something where you're adding a little highlight in through here, or if you do want to add a little bit of depth here, you can do it in a subtle way. And one of my favorite products is this which is a highlighting and contour palette,
but it's also beautiful eyeshadows that are very easy to blend because they're intended to be put on the skin. So they're so, so soft. We do have, this is the light kit and we do have a medium to dark one as well. This one I use a lot to, if I don't want a highlight that's shimmery because most of them are. So you can really, as they call it, strobe out your highlight here. I like to do uh, a lot of times just something that is really, really sheer. And it gives that um, highlight without being a major deal. And so you can take any sort of brush. This is, what is this, our um, 135. This has kind of a nice flat edge here. So it kind of fits right in. This could be used for blush, powder, bronzer. So I just go in like with that medium tone right there. And I'm just gonna add a little bit right in through here. You can kind of see the difference. It's not a lot, it's subtle. And that is just gonna give me a little brightness right there without being glittery or shimmery. And then if I wanted to, I could add any of these darker tones. Same brush, I'm just gonna flip it over. And I didn't do any over here, so I'll do a little over here so you can see the difference. So very subtle, just taking one of those really dark colors. Yeah, it's not even that dark, really and I'm just adding a little tiny bit of contour. It's, like I said, easy to blend, and you can see the difference between here and here, subtle. That's just if you're next level and you want to add a little bit of contouring underneath your bronzer or your, your um, blush. Now, because most of us are under a mask most of the time, I'm not gonna talk about lip color right now as much. If you can see what I did, I have used our um, Powder Kiss Lip Liquid Lip. It is amazing. It is a uh, moisturizing matte lipstick that is a liquid. It has this cool little sponge applicator. Now, it is it's bright. It stays nicely. It's a moisturizing matte, so it does have the matte texture, but it doesn't have... Um, that matte feeling. So we do have a great waterproof liquid lip. It's called Retro Matte. It is lovely. It is something that we have sold a lot of during the pandemic because it does stay put under the mask. If you're looking for something that's just going to do a little bit of a stain, I kind of, what I do is I put this on and then I kind of wiped it off. So there's your stain. And then I just take the uh, lip primer which I am looking for right now. Where is my lip primer? Here it is. So lip primer is one of those products that in normal times is under everything I wear. In non-normal times, it's going to just be almost like a little bit of moisture for under my mask. And I have that, um, that powder kiss lipstick as this kind of a stain underneath we also have a lip oil that just came out that is also one of my favorites it's moisturizing shiny but it's a stain and you can put it on you can tissue it off if you are wearing a mask but it gives you color and it gives you moisture so i will also link to that so there you have it last and final step is um fix plus which i where is my fix plus it is our setting spray and it is something that you can use over and under your foundation. It is got all kinds of calming properties. It's got chamomile and cucumber and caffeine, all the C's. Um, this is the mini version. It's We do sell it in the travel. The big size comes in some different scents. This is the original, smells fresh and clean. So I'm just gonna give myself a little spritz after. It's a great topical moisture, sets your makeup, keeps it on for a long period of time. So there you have it, everybody. Uh, thank you for, if you still are watching at 29 minutes, I appreciate it. If you have any questions, drop them in the uh, comments or send me a private message. Or if you know my phone number, text me. I would love to send you whatever you want. Um, I'll waive the shipping fee. And if you have any questions and you want to come in the store and see me, please let me know when you're planning on coming. I would love to hang out masked and socially distanced, of course. Bye.